The overall goal of this procedure is to generate a 3D human skin reconstruct for studies of melanocyte, melanoma, and skin stem cell biology. This is accomplished by first coating an insert of tissue culture trays with neutralized bovine collagen. The second step is to make the cellular dermal compartment from fibroblasts and collagen. Next, make the epidermal compartment from keratinocytes mixed with melanocytes or melanoma cells. The final step of the procedure is to harvest a skin reconstruct at day 18 and to graft a skin reconstruct onto a mouse. Ultimately, immunohistochemical and immunofluorescent analyses of the graft show the architecture of normal skin containing melanocytes, the migration and the differentiation of dermal stem cells, and stage-specific melanoma phenotypes. We developed the skin reconstruction model 20 years ago because we early on in our studies found that normal melanocytes or melanoma cells that are cultured on a dish behave very different from cells that are in a tissue context. So the skin reconstruction model is ideal for us to see how cells move from one compartment in the skin to any other. Place the previously prepared acellular layer collagen mixture on ice and then add one milliliter of the straw yellow solution into each insert of a six well tissue culture tray. Incubate the tray for 30 minutes at room temperature to allow the gel to solidify. During this time, the solution should change in color from yellow to pink. While the gel is solidifying, trypsinize human fibroblasts from their culture flask with 0.25% trypsin EDTA. After five minutes, add DMEM containing 10% FBS to neutralize the trypsinization process.